r slash isrited what movie has the best soundtrack how to train your dragon yes i wish this were higher john powell always goes so hard finally sorry i've been scrolling for this lmao oh brother where art thou that movie made me fall in love with bluegrass this soundtrack is awesome soggy bottom boys yes that was a really period appropriate soundtrack of authentic folk and blues loved it you should really look into early bob dylan if you like that cone brothers are big dylan fans and that's what the album reminds me of i'd also highly suggest colder wall man has a crazy special voice interstellar previously released music forrest gump new music specifically for the soundtrack performed by multiple artists william shakespeare's romeo and amp juliet new music specifically for the soundtrack performed by a single artist purple rain classical music the lord of the rings unofficial slash unreleased soundtrack queen and highlander and special consideration for whatever the hell moulin rouge is on simmer is a genius agree interstellar music is so beautiful such an incredible range of human emotions stay increases your attention span it really helps me focus when studying inception 2 many nolan's movies got very very good music blues brothers yeah and i thought i was the only one who thinks this way scrolled too far to see this maybe not underscore the underscore best but as a 90s kid i got a rep that romeo and juliet soundtrack we all had and loved yes i just heard that radiohead song again recently while out and about and i had to look it up immediately i'd forgotten how good it is title talk show host here we are born to be kings we're the princes of the universe any of the lord of the rings trilogy so many motifs always sucks when a movie score doesn't have enough motifs gotta have the motifs the music in those movies is practically a member of the cast i play lord of the rings music when i play magic the gathering it sets the mood the song that plays after gandalf falls always chokes me up the lord of the rings trilogy is just a single 12 hour long film in my mind the quality is consistently high and you can't just watch one of them without the other two garden state i agree completely nick drake colin hay the shins simon and garfunkel and coldplay when they were good i was a freshman in high school when the garden state soundtrack came out and it was such a formative experience everything felt new and thrilling and the songs just enhanced the whole time period dazed and confused i'm so glad someone said moulin rouge there's a donut shop in my town called glazed and confused most of their budget went to the soundtrack gaining the rights was a huge pain for them shrek genuinely agree set aside the memes for a second and the musical direction of shrek is fantastic the usage of hallelujah was extremely meaningful as well counterpoint shrek 2 and shrek 2 train spotting it just fits the film so well whoever selected the tracks did a fantastic job the film is great anyway but when you add such good music it just took the film to another level i only have to hear the opening bars of lust for life by iggy pop and i can hear mark renton's choose life choose a job choose a career choose a family opening speech in the film and it just goes from there it is a classic british film and it came out at just the right time as well pulp fiction anything by tarantino really or edgar wright ewan mcgregor damn i like his singing more than his force the crow not so fun fact when i lived in tucson i once worked as a part-time caregiver for stewart cupers after he got parkinson's he was the guitarist of machines of loving grace who did gold the tenement blues for the crow he had a the crow poster hanging on his wall he was a really sweet guy though we didn't keep in touch i'm not sure whatever became of him the wedding singer tron legacy movie was awful but i actually watched it in theaters three times just for the daft punk soundtrack hey the movie was definitely not awful lmao gotta give props to the amazing vfx it was way ahead of its time it even holds up to today's standards and yeah daft punk did amazing on that score the twilight movies are some of the worst movies i've seen but they have some amazing soundtracks the fucking muse interlude with supermassive black hole whoever was in charge of the soundtrack for those films did a fantastic job m83 and paramore too so good 
supermassive bulk hole. Drive. That whole movie is like a synth wave music video, I love it. Tarzan. They asked Phil Collins to do the soundtrack and he went way I, I too hard. Why is this so far down the list? Top tier. The Matrix music is still amazing. Club to death, emotive and mesmerizing. Smack my bitch up. Really though that movie instilled a love for massive attack for me. The song dissolved girl, when Neo was passed out on his keyboard, I begged my mom to take me to the record store so I could buy the album and still adore it to this day. Heavy metal. Why did I have to scroll this far to see that, it has got to be the best soundtrack ever. Purple Rain. Juno. You're a part-time lover and am, a full-time friend. Spirit also was fiery. Interstellar, Harry Potter movies and Good Will Hunting. Indiana Jones. Which one? Really can't believe no one has said Dirty Dancing, I mean that soundtrack is absolutely iconic and exposed a new generations to legendary 60s Motown. Spider-Man, Into the Spider-Verse. I felt like Miles Morales and felt his feelings and emotions in that movie, it was so so good. Forrest Gump. I came here to say this as well. Aside from being a great movie, the soundtrack has classics from every era. Eurotrip. Scotty doesn't know. Brother Bear for the same reason. Rocky IV. The Crow, 1994. The Social Network. That movie really became something special with Trent Reznor's soundtrack. Anything John Williams has composed. Exactly what I was going to say. I know my fifth grade music teacher would be very proud. Back to the Future. Great Scott. That's a heavy choice, but I can't deny the power of Huey Lewis and the news. Singles. State of Love and Trust is one of my favorite Pearl Jam songs. Kill Bill. Man, my mom gave me so much shit for loving that soundtrack as a kid. Little Me was right. The Prince of Egypt. As an atheist, their music makes me want to worship their god. I wish I had more upvotes to give. Deliver us, all I ever wanted, and through heaven's eyes always go on my phone. This is the answer. So intense and amazing. The Lost Boys. Spirited away by far. Honestly it's whatever Miyazaki film you enjoy best. For me it's Kiki's delivery service. It hits so much harder now that I'm older too. Joe Hisaishi is a truly genius. Singles. The Last of the Mohicans.